Thank you for tuning in to another edition of Not Church, where we encourage people to think. Today, we're going to talk about how can you consider yourself a Christian when jealousy is in your heart? I know it sounds like a judgmental title, but we're not judging you. We're not judging you at all. What we'd like to do is bring some things to the forefront that in my estimation, at least, is not talked about a lot in the church. Jealousy is something, if we're honest, right? If we're honest, we've all felt that feeling before. If jealousy goes unchecked in your heart, it can lead into some other things that I'm going to talk about later. Though we've had jealousy uh, in the past, it doesn't make us make us bad people i've had it you've had it we've all felt that feeling and it's one of those feelings that you know when it's there you know when you're feeling it whether you're feeling it um just in your heart or you're feeling it towards another person or you know you know that jealousy starts to rise up in you you can feel it and quite frankly i think it's one of the easier emotions to read on other people Jealousy is one of those things that it, it has to solicit all of your selfish, all of the selfish desires you have. All of your selfish emotions has to connect itself to that jealousy. So if you're if you're really uh, sensitive to, to people's energy, you can really sense a, a, a sense of jealousy really, really easily. Is one of those ones that, at least in my view, is um, easy to detect on other people and is easy to feel rise up within yourself. Even God has says in scripture that God is jealous God. God got jealous to the point that in the Old Testament uh, writing, God destroyed the people. God allowed a flood to come. And wipe out people because God's jealousy led into wrath. It led to anger. So God became enraged like humanity, like humans. And so we find this emotion out of all emotion being affiliated with God, God's self. Um, I do believe that's symbolic, by the way. But nevertheless... Is the only emotion that we we really see come out and evolve into um, anger with God to the point that God destroys His people and and later has to repent for destroying the people in this way. I think that's very important because that characteristic that the literature states that is in God is in all of us. Um, the thing is, we have the ability to box that jealousy in so that it doesn't get the best of us and cause us to go over into some other areas. Cain and Abel. We don't have to go back to it. We know it's in Genesis. And we know that Cain and Abel were brothers. They were the first two men that were birth uh, children from Adam and Eve. And Abel brought uh, a quote-unquote uh, more suitable sacrifice to his parents, whereas Cain did not, and Cain began to get jealous. So, jealousy can be triggered by certain things, like, for example, let's say a parent, and a parent is not really realizing um, the the necessity to take responsibility with those two, and so that parent begins to treat one better or treat one less better and jealousy can be triggered from things like why that. do people get jealous why do we get jealous we get jealous because we feel in our heart that there's something that we want that we can't have and or let's say for example in the case of a relationship we feel like a person may be doing something behind our back we create this thing in our in our mind but the real fear is I'm, I'm gonna lose this person and somebody else will have this person or I want what they have and I can't get it or 
why haven't God done this for me but God did it for them and somehow we conjure in our minds that you know they don't deserve it anyway and so if we allow right that that jealousy to take root it can evolve into envy and when envy happens then we come to a point that we no longer want that person to exist we at any cost we want the individual right or the person to pay for taking what we would consider ours so somehow that that jealousy because it went unchecked it grew and it festered and festered and it grew to the point that you become enraged and the only thing that you can see is yourself and why can't I have that certain thing and I'm and and when you when you figure in your mind well I can't answer this question um why I can't have it and there is no good answer then you push God out of the way you push your re your ability to reason out of the way every other ability to stop yourself in your tracks will fail because at this point your selfishness have become like a bulldozer and it's like I'm going to if I can't have it this certain thing if I can't have this person if I can't have what this person has then one of several things is going to happen <laughs> I'm going to kill them or I'm going to steal what they have it's, it's, it's very very destructive so the thing that we need to realize right the reason we need to box jealousy in as individuals because jealousy it does nothing for for you and it does nothing for the person that you have targeted in your mind it does absolutely nothing jealousy does nothing but destroy eventually and this is why you have to check it this is why you have to check yourself in this area because it doesn't benefit anybody but it it can destroy everything that gets in its way when you start thinking about this thing really deep you, you really see right why the church is really so split you know why people are so divided is because we tapped out of God in our in our um, mission and goal to tap into God we've tapped away from God to many ideas many themes many gods my whole point has been let us come together under this one God because when we see that we have more things in common when a love a sincere love for God dwells up in your heart you no longer want what anybody have you know why because you feel like in your heart I can have what they have in fact you can rejoice with them sincerely because you believe that God can do the same thing for you if not more than God did for them and you you then learn to appreciate what we what we all bring to the table because all of us bring something unique and special to the table and we're all under this one God and we're all loving each other together in unity and man we can do anything we decide to do as one people the division is, is, is where the jealousy comes from you know you you looking over there across the, the church across the street and you saying well that pastor and that pastor driving the Cadillac and this pastor over here driving the Ugo a Yugo and this pastor over here dressing in a nice silk suit and this pastor over here ain't you know he barely got jeans and shoes on and he's giving and he's giving his earnings to the so we can find all these reasons to get all discombobulated because all this division all this jealousy all this envy and it, it causes people to hate I just don't believe that that's what God wants for God's people I don't believe that I believe God wants unity love 
God wants us to appreciate the accomplishments, whatever that is. You know, some of us are jealous because of persons, uh, businesses that they have. Man, if you got a business, thank God. I, what kind of business you? Man, let me let me rejoice with you. Thank you, God, for their business because they they have a business. Shoot, that mean I can have one too. Thank God that that woman met that nice man because if. If, if God let that woman meet that nice man, God can do the same thing for me. Thank God that that couple got married. Thank God that God blessed that family with that nice, beautiful, big four-level house, five-level, whatever the desires of your heart. Thank God for it. Because if God did it for them, God surely can do it for me. And it ain't even about God doing it for me. Just thank you, God. For doing it for them just thank you i don't want nothing from you god just thank you can we get to that place can we get to the place where we sincerely love god enough to love people enough to be thankful and blessed over the blessings no matter what that is because we got the faith that if God did it for them, then God can surely do it for me. I'm telling you, that will eliminate all of the jealousy and all of the envy. Let's get it out of us. I love you. Thank you for tuning in. I get a little passionate about this because this is thing is this really destroyed the church in many ways. We need to we need to work on this. So thank you tuning in to another edition of Not Church. Like, comment, subscribe. And it's okay to think. Till we meet again. Everybody won't be on top. Yeah. Whether the roof or the mountaintop.